Hi guys and welcome to speech to text tutorial. This is a very interesting tutorial and I'm just going to show you guys how it works. First of all, let's get rid of this text we have that we have in there. And to start with, you click on this button. You don't have to use a button, you can always use a form wheel. But I use a button so that I can explain what this tutorial is all about. So I'm going to click on this button now and just say one or two things. I would like a cup of coffee, please. There we go. The system seems to recognize cup of, cup of coffee, but instead of please, end up with the police. <laughs> so that is how it works. And everything I'm saying is kind of like put on the system as well. Okay, you can just train yourself to make sure you are able to get it all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp Development Environment. I will put one of these together. Okay, we start a new project. So I'm just going to call that. Yeah, we're using C Sharp for now. Click on next. Call it CS underscore speech. All right, so that's my development environment. The choice is yours if you want to format the look of your form, but I'm going to make that about 1386 by 700. And let's go for, let's go for 800. And this, I will make that 1800 as well. Yeah, something like that. Okay, now, Come straight to your toolbox here. Grab hold of. Uh, let's use rich text box. There we go. We have a rich text box in there. You can use whatever you like. You can even use the text box. That's cool. So that's my rich text box in there. So we just bring it down a little bit. And now I'm going to go straight into the property and just increase the size of the font. So make that bold. You don't have to do that. The choice is yours. 36. That's cool. Now, let's go straight into the project area. This is very important. Click on the project. And in there, you now want to select add reference. In the add reference, all you need in here is to type in speech. And there we go. A thing that is that's meant to be speech. There we go. Make sure it's checked and click on OK. There. Now, double click on your form. And um, first of all, we now want to come right here. See right underneath the system here. So let's import as follows. So I'm going to be importing using system dot. So grab hold of that. Paste that underneath here. That will be dot speech dot recognize or recognition there we go there and let's go for i'm going to also use using static let's say using static isn't static system dot windows dot windows dot forms dot visual style dot visual style element let's see a thing that is it right there enter semicolon and that's it you need these two Okay, this one can even automatically get generated. So let's go back to the form load. You see on the form, double click on the form load. I'm going to, first of all, create a function. Let's say, I'm going to call that private void. Let's say recognize underscore speech. Underscore speech recognize. And let's ask it to say object send. Object sender, comma, speech recognizer. Um, 
let's grab all of that instead of typing it all over grab all of that and modify it so this is going to be speech recognition no recognized i was meant to be recognized there and i'm now going to just say events that will be event argument e let's grab all of all of these here come right down here and just paste it right there come right down here enter statement block okay let's get this corrected there we go right and in there all i just want to do now is i'm going to get hold of my rich text box let's say rich text box one dot text that will be equals let's say plus equals e dot result dot text and let's add new line in there let's say backspace r backspace and there we go and close that up so i've just finished creating my function now inside the form load here i'm going to create an object so let's say speech recognition engine so let's just grab all of this and correct it properly paste that in there inside the form load so that's going to be speech recognition engine and that is going to be let's just call it recognizer so the instant is recognizer and we just say equals new speech recognition engine there we go object created now let's say recognizer dot set input uh, the input will have to be set to default audio this one there we go and we also need to create something for the grammar so i'm going to say the grammar object itself that will be equals let's say grammar and that is going to be equals new dictionary do we have a dictionary there dictionary grammar there we go as good now let's say speech recognition the recognizer dot local load grammar yeah recognize that load the grammar accept that as well then the recognizer dot speech you say this p should be recognized plus equals speech recognizer no no that would be dot plus equals new event handler event handler this very one here and inside this event handler that will be we want the speech recognizer event arguments then we then want my function here grab all of the function and just paste that right here open up a bracket and paste and i'm going to enter a semicolon in there there we go now we're almost there so the next thing is i'm just now going to say the recognizer recognizer dots recognize let's say recognizer dot not to be dot recognize Arsene. and that is going to be recognize mode that will be multiple there we go and that's it now let's give it a try 
but the problem is whatever slightest noise is recorded I would like a cup of coffee please there we go you see that guys so with that I will call it the end of this tutorial all right you have a nice day and bye for now I would like a cup of coffee please goodbye